I was lucky enough to be sent the new Caradon Overlord's Drecky Flint model by Games Workshop to paint up. And in this video, I'll show his rules page, the stunning photo I took of him boarding an enemy vessel, why I chose the colours I did to paint him, as well as a painting guide showing you how I did it. So much to get through, so splice the main brace and let's set sail, me hearties. Drecky Flint is a Caradon Overlord Sky Captain and a lovable rogue featured in Guy Haley's novel, the Arcanotes Oath. For the first time, this hearty Dwardin is available as a plastic model kit. Including on the back of his small four-page instruction manual are his stats. Sadly, though, no special rules, keywords, or even points are included. So I'm not actually sure how useful this is. Hopefully, he'll be added to the Age of Sigma app in full. I was lucky enough to be sent this model by Games Workshop's Warhammer community team to paint up and submit pictures for possible inclusion in their community showcase article. Me being me, I didn't do things by half and I wanted to submit a truly special photo. I read some synopsis on Drecky and I got pirate vibes. So I came up with him boarding a plague ship to liberate some of Sigmar's treasure chests. The only pirate ship I have is a Lego one, so I can't use that. Being the resourceful chap that I am, I started putting together some terrain pieces that look boat-like. Using wooden walkways and platforms from Warcry's Red Harvest game, I was able to mock up the deck and hull. A bamboo walkway from Warcry's Heart of Gur made for some convincing rigging. I freely printed some tiny discs to use as gold coins. I remembered I had the Dreadfeet game map, which is perfect for the sea. To finish the scene off, I used a piece of black card and flicked silver and white paint on it with a toothbrush to make stars. In this behind the scenes shot, you can see how I pulled it all together. To light the shot, I used slaved speed lights, also known as flash guns, with coloured translucent plastic, also known as gels, in front of the lights. I've used a blue light for the foreground, another blue light for the background and orangey red to light the ship. I imagine they used lanterns or something. I used the ring flash as a fill-in light just to remove any heavy shadows on Drecky and make him pop a little more. I added the fallen Nurgle warrior for two reasons. First, it explains whose ship it is, because Caradon airships aren't made from wooden planks. And secondly, I like to think the tentacle Drecky is standing on used to be the arm of the Blight King he's standing over. Even though Drecky is a named character, I still wanted to make my mark on him and paint him my way. I thought I'd lean into the pirate theme and give him stripy trousers and a black beard. I can't put my finger on it, but for some reason I associate the colour red with pirates. I think it's Captain Hook in Disney's P Peter Pan. It's predominantly red, so maybe it's that ingrained him to me from a child. Either way, I like the red and the black beard. I feel like this is younger, more hot-headed Drecky Flint, who wouldn't think twice about jumping onto a plague ship for some coins made from ether gold. Before we raise anchor and sail into the sunset, here's my paint recipes for the colours I used to paint Drecky Flint. He's a pretty cool model, and I'm pleased Games Workshop sent me him. I had a blast painting and photographing him. Nice to work on something different from time to time. The red armour is a Mephiston red base coat. And then I repeatedly glazed with Targor Rage Shade, building up the intensity. So it got darker. Then I applied a Mephiston red highlight. And finally an Evil Sun Scarlet edge highlight. The brass is painted with a hash hut copper base coat, then a wash of Reekland flesh shade. Finally, it was edge highlighted with canoptic alloy. The metals are simply lead belcher base coat and non oil wash with a rune fang steel edge highlight. I painted the levers using Doomball Brown as a base coat, wild wood wash, and then a scrag brown highlight. The undersuit is Corax White Base Coat, Screaming Skull was then painted over the top of this, followed by a wash of Skeleton Horde and Contrast Medium mixed together. 
This was then edge highlighted with wraith bone. The flesh is night quest or flesh with Acadian flesh tone highlight and then washed with Targor Raid Shade and Contrast Medium. His black beard is painted with a bad and black base coat. An Eshin Grey highlight was followed by a Dawnstone highlight and then it was all washed with Nuln Oil. Finally, an edge highlight of Dawnstone was applied. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and um, check out the description for any links. Uh, if you'd like to support me, I sell my own hobby grips to help you paint your models. So there's a link in there for that. Thanks very much, bye.